Hey, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. So I'm going to get into the portion where we need to configure CloudStack on the virtualization host. Uh, I'm going to leverage uh, KVM for, for the virtualization piece. And it should go a little bit quicker than, than, than the uh, setting up the management server. So I've already installed the operating system. It's already up to date and I've already configured SE Linux to be permissive. And from this stage now, we just need to go ahead and set up the, the, uh, the YUM repository like we did in the previous uh, management host. And edit. I'm just gonna copy paste in this uh, just to make it go a little, a little faster. Uh, then. But this is the same information that we put in one of the other hosts. We could even copy this repo from uh, the other system. That would have been just as easy. All right. And we'll go ahead and close this here. And so we can now go ahead and install the different packages that we're going to need. Um, so we're going to want to install NTP, we did before, and also the cloud agent on this one here. Uh, on the previous one for the management server, we installed the cloud client. Um, so we'll go ahead and install these packages. This is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to fast forward through the package installation and, and its dependencies. And then once it's done, we'll go ahead and move on to the next pieces that we have to configure on this, this host. Okay, so now that all the packages have been installed, uh, let's go ahead and configure some of the different um, pieces. One's going to be the libvertd com file. I'm going to go through this here and uh, change a few of the settings here. The I'm going to uncomment the listen TLS. Let's keep going down. Uncomment listen underscore TCP. Get to the TCP port. Uncomment this one. Uh, we're going to go down to the authentication. Right here. And we're going to do um, auth. TCP, and we're actually going to change this so it's none. And then MDNS advanced. So let me find that. S underscore A. There we go. All right. And we're going to change this to zero. Okay. So that's it for this file. Um, we're also going to edit the libvert D in sysconfig as well and in this one we're just going to go ahead and change one line and that's going to be uncommenting the libvert d args dash listen so we're just going to uncomment that line and save this 
There's one more file we need to change, which is in the CG conf. And what we need to do here is basically add information. Um, Rupert. I actually had a hard time uh, finding this. Um, I had random issues trying to get the process to start for the, the cloud agent. And this was the remedy for it. So hopefully this will save you a lot of time uh, troubleshooting. All right, so such. Should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and restart a few services here. One is going to be the CG config. Uh, next one is going to be libvirt D. Then the cloud agent. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was edit the post file. So you do want to make sure that you can, uh, what is it? Yeah. Just do host name here. Uh, host name, we got it here. In CLD stack KBM 01. All right, so, and that's pretty much the issue there that can't resolve itself using the host name. So let's go ahead and edit the the host file and all we have to do here is just add add that the host name in here with the IP and that should fix the, the, uh, the problem that we were seeing on starting uh, restarting the cloud agent uh, so the IP of this is 01. Okay, I'm going to add, I have another node that I know we're going to need to communicate with. Let me go ahead and add that one in right now. Uh, and this is because, again, I have not set up DNS properly. So you set up DNS properly so that you can resolve this stuff, uh, which is recommended. Uh, you wouldn't have to make some of these changes that I'm doing right now. Uh, but this will ensure that it will work. So go ahead and exit there. Let's go back and see if we can start up the cloud agent. Okay, so it starts up fine right now and that's pretty much it for setting up the the uh, cloud stack agent piece but there's still a few more things that we have to do um, on the host and on the management server uh, before we're finished so in the next videos we'll start to finalize everything and get to a point to where we can start provisioning virtual machines so until then, peace out.